Oh. I know it's a bit of a nightmare coming here and had to jump on the tube in the end because oh, the traffic is so I, bad. I, I loved it. I, I know, but you're so normal <laughs> and it's fine. It's so gorgeous. Congratulations on the movie. I absolutely loved it. Oh, I thanks. really did. I really did. And your accent, your Glaswegian accent is spot on. Oh, they let me back in then, will they? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah you better. How did you get, did you just spend time around Glaswegians just listening to them and talking like that? Yeah, you know, it's great fun. You know, when, when your research means that you have to go to the Ben Nevis, you know, for Friday and Saturday night to really get into character, it's I brilliant. I like that. I think it's fantastic. <laughs> now, country music is a big, big thing in the west of Scotland, and particularly Glasgow. I mean, you can't really believe it because you're down in, like, the docks, and then there's this, like, church of country music and all these characters <laughs> who are kind of spilling in from Greg's and putting on their full cowboy boots and it's doing great. Gain at Laldi, as they say. Gain at pure Laldi. <laughs> Absolutely. Lutely. Yeah, that kind of happened by accident yeah. and over lots of cups of coffee and croissants. That's really all I'm interested in. <laughs> um, but Nicole Taylor, who wrote the script, uh, we just ended up, we, we thought uh, it would be fun just to see what would be the narrative of the character after the film finished and what she would want to say um, in the album. And uh, yeah, that's kind of how that happened. Well, the music is beautiful and your voice is absolutely fantastic. Of course, we would expect that, wouldn't well. we? Well. <laughs> um, but the, but the, thing about, the thing about Rose is she, she's a survivor. You know, she's, she's been knocked down so many times. We first see her coming out of jail. And she's difficult to like at first. Yeah. You really do warm to her. You really do. And you really want things to happen for her. You want her to live her dream. Yeah, and I think, you know, lots of people can relate to that struggle that she has about wanting something more for yourself. And yeah. She's a rebel dreamer. And when I first read the script, the thing that jumped out to me was that it was like a prison break film for all the yeah. people in that in, in the film. And uh, for Rose Lynn, she's been told that she's only allowed dream within the four corners, corners mm. of where she's grown up. But she has this tenacious courage to break down those walls yeah. and, and do something more with her life or at least see what else is out there. Yeah, it's very moving. It really is. It's lovely. Is there going to be a soundtrack of the film? Because that would Oh, yeah, good. it's out. It's good, <laughs> good, good, good. I'm glad, I'm glad. Now, in a bizarre way, will you be performing that? Could, that, could you see you doing that? Is yeah. that going to happen? Yeah, I, I mean, I, it's been... Isn't that amazing that the film's got a, a life? A I know. Soul, really? I mean, I've been clinging on for dear life. <laughs> I've been, like, had such fun with it. I haven't really... Uh, but, yeah, we are going to be doing some festivals this summer with the band. And the band who are in the film are just the most amazing bunch of guys. Oh, they're guys. proper, and aren't we they? We really just completely fell in love and... Uh, yeah, it's so yeah, we're going to hit the road. We're going to have a tour bus. That's fantastic because <laughs> that doesn't really happen. No, it, really it doesn't. Well, I just you know it's good fun. Yeah, I'm... <laughs> you bet it. As if all this isn't enough, we're going to be seeing you tonight in Chernobyl, Chernobyl, <laughs> yeah. on Sky Atlantic. And what I'm amazed that it's taken so long to do a drama on this incredibly important thing that happened. I remember it vividly. Yeah. And the the fallout, literally the fallout, you know. Yeah. Well, it's a kind of you know, there's nothing that's ever happened no. quite like it. It's a historical thing that uh, exists now today and the consequence of it still has its repercussions mm. nowadays. There's grandchildren of Chernobyl being born. Um, yeah, yeah. But it was an amazing uh, and humbling and, and uh, thing to, to be part of and, you it's know, good. yeah. Do you know, I can't believe it's 10 years ago that you and I do anything. I can't either. I'll do anything. And you and Andrew Lloyd Webber still, I mean, he, he absolutely loved you. I remember you moved him to tears. I remember that vividly. No, there's just some things you remember from TV moments. And I, I do really remember that. And I know he was a great champion of yours. Oh. And it's, and, and it's brilliant. You've, got, you've gone on to do so, such an interesting career you've got, Jesse, though. It's so different, isn't it? Yeah, I've been incredibly lucky. I don't know if there's somebody looking after me or. <laughs> uh, I've. You know, it, and, and largely it's been down to the... I've met incredible people along the way who, for some reason, have just taken me under their wing or, or um, encouraged me to keep going and to keep thinking about uh, things that I haven't really thought I could do yet. Mm. And um, I am very lucky. Yeah. Well, I think you can do anything you put your mind to. <laughs> you, no, you can. Absolutely, you really can.